Welcome to the latest episode of Steinhaus TV. On this episode, I'll be talking about Spike, our laser measurement device for estimation. So stay tuned. This is Spike, our laser measurement device. And uh, it's made in New Zealand. The technology is from New Zealand. And uh, the technology here with this little device allows you to do estimation for sinus jobs, whether it's for painting applications, indoor or outdoor. It's basically a little device that connects to Bluetooth to any uh, smartphone. It can be an Android or a iPhone or Apple iOS device. It's a matter of connecting by Bluetooth and you utilize the camera on your phone to take a photo and then once uh, that's done we can take measurements to estimate the job. So I'll do a little example quickly and uh, so what we do here first is it has a little clipping device so depending on if you have a large phone or a smartphone it can uh, easily be accommodated into that. Once you know it's secure it's a matter of uh, uh, going into your phone you have an app which is downloaded from the Google Play Store or again the App Store. You open up the device, it will start asking you to search for a device. This device has already been uh, calibrated which is also a very quick and easy technique. You can see it in one of our other videos that we will link below. Once it's calibrated onto your device, it's a matter of uh, turning on the device. It is shown immediately here that it's, you can connect it, you tap it, we're connected. And then the phone uses its camera to take a photo of the, of the place we're trying to estimate. And the device has a laser, laser measurement, device, uh, laser pointer on it that calculates the distances for the height and width and so on. So if you look up at the building I'm planning to take an example of, this building has signs on two sides and we have a little corner area here where I'm going to estimate. So all I have to do is point the camera right up to the building, make sure I get the full area that I'm trying to estimate here. And so the device, you can ideally stand a minimum of 2 meters from the, the surface you're trying to measure and up to a maximum of 200 meters to get an accuracy of within 2%. So now that we're back in the office, I can take all the measurements I need for that particular surface area, whether I'm trying to do signage or painting or cladding even. And it's a matter of just going back into the file. Uh, I open up the app again in my iOS. Find the app, open it up. Uh, go into my gallery, find the photo that I just taken, right there, and uh, now from here I can just edit it to take all the measurements I require. So I hit the edit button, mark the surface area. So now I got the entire area. So obviously, as you can see in this specific measurement that I'm taking, it's I can take the measurement only of this flat surface in front of me, all the other sides of it. If you want to take those measurements, it's ideal that you take a, it is, you have to take a separate photo altogether because you won't get accuracy. It has to be a flat surface without any recesses or protrusions. So now once I've done that, so now I can see the entire height, width and surface area of the required area. And uh, Say I need to do a signage on this and a cladding. I know exactly the amount of surface area of cladding material that I require. Now I want to put a signage on the top of it. So I go to cutout. I draw in a new box of ideally what is the size of the signage that I'm looking to do. I can uh, adjust the alignment. So mark the exact area. And so now I know the cutout size for the signage I'm trying to do. So now I just need to save this photo here. All the measurements are saved. And it's very easy for anyone sitting in the office to now make an estimation of what is the required material needed for the signage, what is the required height of the scaffolding they need to go into, what is the amount of cladding material that they have to use for this particular design. And now say I want to do a, a, a painting application on this web, on this wall. All I have to do is go back again to my captures, go into the main photo, edit it, choose the surface area again. And obviously in this, when I'm going to paint this, I don't want to paint the windows and I can save that much more material or that much more paint. So then Go to next, I cut out the alignment, draw in the little box, I'm 
make a second cutter for the second box and now you can see at the bottom we have a total of 39.3 square meters of surface area minus the windows and then you have an exact estimation of the uh, the amount of paint or material you need for that surface area and now say you need to do a, a prepare a scaffolding as well you just choose length on the top add a line draw it from top to bottom on the app and now I know the exact height of this of this wall and so if you need to prepare a scaffolding if you need to prepare a ladder and uh, at the office the production team and your um, uh, site engineers can do all the work this uh, so now I've shown you how you can take easily and this is a matter of a couple of minutes taking measurements of the site for estimation for sending out quick quotes to customers and even for uh, estimating the amount of material you need and say you are the person who went to the site you're a sales guy who's done this photos and uh, a few days later or the a few weeks later the client says no I need some changes to the to the measurements you need to go check it again all you have to do is now go into the share upload this to the cloud now I'm going to show you I'll show you the user interface on the website of Ike where you just log into the account you created or through the app and anybody in the office using the same account will have access to those photos to take new measurements and even have additional information so as you can see here I've just logged in and immediately shows you my gallery and then I just need to open that in the photo measurement and here I can see I have uh, all the information I already had taken earlier and all I have to do is if I want to take a new cutout or new measurements I can just add them directly here into the photo um, take new lengths add new lines and it's as simple as that and in here in the website as well at the, in the website you get a lot more detailed breakdown of each cutout the measurements the, the the surface area of each of those cutouts the total surface area you can adjust the measurements into a unit you prefer if, if you want those change from metric you can get a more detailed report of all the lines that are captured you get the image as well which can be utilized later for rendering graphics on top of it to show an example of the work you're trying to do uh, you have this map feature also so every photo that you capture on the phone is geotagged so then you know uh, the guys at the office or the guys going for the installation also have an idea of where the location of the exact site is uh, on the Google Maps so it's so as you saw it's so easy to use one of these devices and you can get these at any of our branches in Dubai cost only 2000 dirhams and at your fingertips you get easy access to immediate estimation immediate measurements without the hassle of uh, climbing scaffolds and taking detailed measurements. All the measurements you take within uh, 2 meters to 200 meters distance from the object you're shooting come out with a, at least a 3% accuracy and we found out in actual live examples that we get even below 2% uh, variation from the actuals. So it's great for estimation and obviously if the job is awarded and it's a very detailed project you might have to go down and take more specific uh, measurements but in terms of speed accuracy sending out codes it's a great device and the advantage is that once you send out those codes faster than everyone else you're more likely to get uh, that converted in order which is what everyone looking for in terms of speed and efficiency so feel free to reach out to us to get more information or buy one of these devices from one of our branches and thank you very much for tuning in